Without a plan, revision might be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. A quick disclaimer. OpenAI's large-scale language generation tool ChatGPT may have been used to draft some content in this episode. StudySquare LTD has adapted the content and takes full responsibility for the publication. Okay, so let's have a look at root. The root of a number gives the number which multiplied by itself gives the required number. The root of a number can be estimated by finding the roots of integers above and below that number. The root of the desired number is between those two values and lies closer to the one which the initial integer is closest to. Numbers involving roots are called thirds. The question that relates to this theory is estimate the value of root of 65. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a five-star rating or a review. So let's learn more about powers. The power to which a value is raised describes the number of times the value is multiplied by itself. The power of a value can be estimated by finding the powers of the integers above and below the number. The power of the desired number will lie between the two. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Calculate the value of 1.3 times 10 squared. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.